There are reports that Charlie Sheen is planning on revealing to the world that he is HIV positive. Sheen's going to sit down with Matt Lauer, and they're going to make the announcement on public television on NBC. Um, NBC just touted uh, this interview uh, in a press release. They said that Sheen's making a revealing personal announcement. Um, okay, that could mean anything, technically, but there's been a lot of speculation, yeah. uh, a lot of rumors going around, um, not only from people who knew him, uh, ex-lovers as well that have come out and said that he reportedly, you know, exposed him to HIV. Um, so this is what a lot of people are thinking is going to go down. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have a quote from um, Howard Bragman. He's a Hollywood publicist. He said, the interview could open up a lot of sympathy for him, but he has to be concerned about a fear of litigation from former sexual partners. You don't take that lightly. So yeah, if that is the case, if he knowingly has been spreading HIV for years, that could really, really turn into a really messy situation for It him. could be a criminal problem for him. Yeah. It could be that uh, an instance of him engaging in sex with other people without letting them know that he has a disease could be getting him in trouble with the law. But at the same time, we see this, this continuing of the Charlie Sheen saga. We Some were celebrating his win, his hashtag winning, his tiger blood. Uh, we had a tiger you know, blood. remember all, all of that, that period of his time right after he got fired from Two and a Half Men, the biggest contract in TV, yeah. and we see how that lavish lifestyle and that you know outspoken gusto for sex and drugs and parties has consequences. And if this is the case, and he comes tomorrow and announces that he was infected with HIV, it's sad to see that the whole focus of the coverage is going to be like, oh, let's let's give Charlie Sheen a second chance. Let's let's try to see how we can heal. But the reality is that there's a lot of people out there that do not have the stage to come forward and say, I'm sorry, I know that I did wrong, and I was wild, and I didn't mean to create harm, but please forgive me. The network benefits from it, they got ratings. Charlie Sheen gets a second chance and a lot of uh, headlines and maybe more work because he's probably blacklisted by every producer in town. And the real struggle of many people out there that have to face the diagnosis of HIV without the limelight, you know, it's unfair. It's unfair and it's part of the celebrity culture that, that we are, you know, surrounded by here in the United States. Right, yeah, I mean, you can look around the world, you know, potentially millions in Africa alone who are infected, who, who are born with it, right? Without I Without mean, doing anything. Without doing anything. Charlie Sheen came out and said, you know, I've slept with over 5,000 women. We know that he's been with prostitutes, with strippers, and you name it, porn stars, uh, just to add on to that list. So for, for a lot of people, I guess this won't be surprising. But, you know, th that quote I read, uh, he starts off by saying, you know, th this interview could open up a lot of sympathy for them. So now they want to open up some sympathy. Exactly. But what, what happened, you know, a few years ago, Ago, right after he lost his job at Two and a Half Men, uh, the, the, everyone was tearing him apart, again, for their own gain, right? So these tabloids can make uh, some money, so that these uh, networks can make more money. They, they were calling him all sorts of stuff, so it's like... And people were profiting from me. I remember right at the center of the whole scandal, Abartha, the Italian uh, car company that made the Fiat, oh, yeah. they had a commercial of him in house arrest. The whole point is that he was during house arrest, had a little tiny car inside his house, and he was keep partying. So we celebrated this lifestyle. So we celebrated this high-risk sexual activity, and now we know that, like we've been warned through physicians and public health announcement, high-risk sexual behavior has consequences, and getting HIV is one of them. It, it's always sad to hear anyone has to face that and gets a diagnosis like that, but at the same time, I think that he was risking everything, every time with his behavior, and this is something that, you know, consequences are there. Yeah, well, hopefully for Charlie's sake, you know, this will maybe allow him to slow down a little, turn around, turn yeah. his life around. Um, at the same time, hopefully this, this story will not only shed light on Charlie Sheen's situation, but also the millions of people affected with HIV all around the world.